Hey guys, and welcome back to Pokemon Ash Gray version. In the last episode, we defeated Brock in probably one of the most annoying gym battles ever. And here's Blood, apparently. And that's great. That's pretty great that Brock's pursuing his dreams. But anyway, I did uh, level up my Pokemon, actually. I leveled up Metapod 2 levels, I believe. And Pikachu 1 level. I did want to evolve Metapod, but... I didn't want to evolve from off screen actually. I wanted to I want I wanted you guys to actually see him evolve, so yeah. <laughs> anyway, um I know um uh, oh, okay, Route 3. I know this route um has a lot of trainers to battle, so that's gonna be really awesome for Metapod. So we sh Metapod should evolve this episode. Excuse me, sir. Is there a problem? Lady Glass uh Janus? Okay. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, but whatever. Pidgey up net up first. All right, let's use a uh, tackle on this guy. Okay, he's gonna use tackle back. Oh, thankfully, he doesn't have gust. I hope he doesn't have gust anyway. Yes, I know some computers just use like the super effective moves when they're late. So hopefully this guy is hopefully last Janice is one of them. Okay, I'm just gonna spam some tackles on this guy um, mainly because. Oh god, okay, we're dead. <laughs> oh, never mind, actually, we actually, we actually took that pretty well. Good job, Metapod. Alright, let's go into Pikachu now. Yeah, see what I mean? Like, Pidgey always having to, you know, like, trainers using that, like, really bad timing. I don't know why they do that, but they do that. Anyway, let's just finish him off with a Thundershock. That's GG for our first Pokemon. I don't know what the next one's gonna be. Probably gonna be something stupid. Actually, this is another Pidgey. Okay. Alright, Metapod, get in there. I was actually. Hopefully, he evolves pretty soon. I. I don't know. I really hate this the way I'm doing the training. I, I hate the way I'm training Metapod. This is so annoying. Anyway, let's just use Thundershock on this Pidgey. That is a GG for Pidgey. There we go. Awesome job, Pikachu. Good job, buddy. Good job, pal. Alright. Oh, darn. That's, that's fine. It's okay, last Janus. I mean, some people make mistakes sometimes. My mommy got me a snake Pokemon for my birthday. Wanna see? Sure, I guess. I'm pretty sure it's an Ekans. I mean, that's the only snake Pokemon in first gen that I know. Anyway, Youngster Ben sending out Rotata. Okay, Metapod, you got this. No, you don't. Because you're gonna die. So let's just go into Pidgeotto. Because Pidgeotto's got this. Tackle. Oh wow, that actually did some pretty good damage on Pidgeotto, actually. Anyway, let's use Tackle. And that's doing some pretty good damage. Alright, Gust Attack. And that is GG for Tata. And there we go. Good job, P Pidgeotto. I was about to say Pikachu, but... No, it's Pidgeotto. So yeah, it is Ekans. Um, well, let's go into Metapod again. Okay, it looks like he's pretty close to evolving. That's pretty good. Intimidate, not really gonna matter because I'm gonna switch out anyway. So let's go into Pikachu. Uh, yeah, let's go into Pikachu. I don't want to go into Pidgeotto because he probably has a lot of EXP anyway. So he's gonna use Leer. That's kind of scary because um, he's probably gonna use physical attack this turn, so hopefully this one shots, I highly doubt it, because Thundershock's really weak, so another Leer, okay, that, that's good then, so he's not gonna attack me, so that's pretty good, alright, I kind of wish these trainers were more tough, you know, weren't, weren't that stupid, uh, that's okay, I mean, I mean, it's pretty, probably kind of hard to make computers really ta challenging, I guess, I don't know. They probably, I don't know. I, I feel like people would complain if trainers were more tough, I guess. Okay, let's heal up our Pokemon, because we took a lot of damage. Um, I think Metapod's pretty close to evolving, actually. Yeah, really, really close. He probably has, like, 10 EXP more. Then he's gonna evolve, so... I don't know. Um, we're just gonna have to wait until we face the next trainer, I guess. Alright. Will you provide my evolution solution? No. Why would I help you, man? I don't help people. Be 
you, you should know that about me. I don't help other people. That's that's a silly thing to do. I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, Metapod. Okay, I think Metapod can take care of this Weedle all by, by itself, honestly, because it's just a Weedle. Weedle Weedles aren't really that strong, so yeah. Tackle away, doing some pretty uh, pretty bad damage. Whatever. I mean, it's a Metapod. Not really the strongest Pokemon. I guess we're just gonna spam the tackles, cause uh, that's pretty much the only thing we can do, pretty much, right now. Alright. Uh, tackle again. Okay, poison sting. I, I'm not really worried if it poisons me, honestly, because uh, Metapod has shed skin, so. Yeah, I really like Metapod's ability. It's pretty useful. With these weedles. So, yeah. right, tackle. Alright, almost gonna take it out. Alright, one more should definitely take it out. I don't know why you always. I don't know why bug catchers always use string shots so much. Even though like they're already faster, they just use like ten more string shots. It's pretty funny. Whatever. All right, Kakuna. Uh, let's go into Pidgeotto because I feel like Pikachu can't one shot it because Thunder Shot's really, really uh, weak. So yeah, Gust. They should uh, take it out in one hit. I think because. Gus is pretty powerful, so yeah, there we go. We even got a crit, so that was uh, definitely gonna take it out. Oh wow, we got a lot of EXP for that. Holy crap. Why is Pidgeotto always getting so much EXP? I don't know. It's pretty crazy. Caterpie up next. Um, I'm gonna go into Pich Pikachu. Not Pidgeotto, Pikachu. Because Pikachu, I think, can one-shot a Caterpie. Maybe not um, Metapod or, Cat or Kakuna, but Caterpies and we just probably take it out, and yes you do, okay, awesome job Pikachu, good job buddy, Metapod, uh, I'm gonna stay in, hopefully this takes it out, I don't know, might, it probably won't, but whatever, it's okay, Metapod's not that strong anyway, so we won't that much of a grip, okay, leaves it down to like 2 HP probably, so, yeah, that's okay, and we got a lot of EXP for that, almost a level up from that too, one step forward, two steps back, Okay, that's pretty great. And what? Metapod's evolving? Yes, he is. All right, here we go. We're gonna, he's gonna evolve into a butterfly. Awesome. And no, I didn't mistake that into Butterfree. I'm just, I'm just uh, making a point. I just wanna, I don't know. I just wanna make a point for science. Cause science is a really great subject. I don't know. But there we go, we got Butterfree. And learn Sleep Powder, yes, nice. All right, Sleep Powder is a really good move, actually. In this game, it actually, I, in this game actually never misses for me, which is awesome. I really love that. Anyway, um, let's battle this girl, I guess. How did you find me here? Well, if you don't know, if you don't know, uh, they're kind of camera angles here, so yeah, you probably don't have that, but I'm I'm pretty special, so I have the camera angles. I'm kidding. <laughs> Obviously, I'm kidding. Tail whip? Oh god. That might actually be a little scary, honestly. Because, um, oh god, okay, quick attack. Okay. I actually did a, a little bit less damage than I thought, so that's pretty good. I'm gonna put it to sleep, which is great. So now I'm gonna tackle away. Alright, fast asleep. Awesome. Awesome sauce. Alright. I hope this can finish it off. Okay, pretty close, pretty close. Alright, so this will definitely finish it off, unless if it randomly misses, which I'm pretty sure tackle in this game is 100 accuracy. Uh, they changed it into how black and white tackle is. Okay. I'm just making stuff more confusing, so I apologize. Alright, I think Pikachu can one shot Nidoran, right? I hope so. Maybe not, actually. Uh, no, okay. I should did a little bit less damage than I thought. That's okay. I'm perfectly okay with that. So this will definitely finish it off, and that is GG for Nidoran, the female. There we go. Level 13. Awesome. Good job, Pikachu. Okay. I was hiding. Okay. Um, that was that was an okay hiding spot, I guess. This is a better hiding spot where the bug catcher is, though. Did you come through Brady Force too? Yep, I did, man. Are you uh, one of the people I met? Catch Colton. Okay, I guess I'll watch uh, the 
on my second episode, or third episode actually, Let's see if I met you. Alright, he's three shot me. Okay. That's fine with me. Hopefully Butterfree's still faster. No. Okay, that's fine. Oh god. Okay, you got a crit, that's kind of annoying. Um, let's use a uh, potion real quick, because uh, Butterfree's almost dead. Strange shot. Anyway, okay. <laughs> I think this tackle can finish off. I hope it does. I think it will. Alright, tackle away. And then finishes it off. I don't know why. I can't just. I can't say that. Like, properly. Okay. There we go. We do finish it off. That's great. And, okay. Not a, quite a level up, but that's fine. Alright. Let's uh, stay in, Ashley. Let's get that level up. And plus, Butterfree can handle a Weedle. Weedle's not that strong. Anymore, so. I don't know why you're going for string shot there, buddy. It's kind of useless. I mean, I'm already slower anyway, so. Yeah, just uh, just some advice that you shouldn't use string shot over and over again, like what you're doing right now. But whatever. I don't know. I really don't care. But they're my opponents, and it's just helping me. Alright, good job, man. You're using String Shot. That's really awesome because, um. That gives me more opportunities to take you out, so. Yeah, there we go. We are a level 11. What for you, anyway? Stun Spore. I really don't want to learn that because we already have Thunder Wave on Pikachu, so. Yeah, Stun Spore, not that really, not really that useful. Caterpie up next. Um. Actually, let's go into Pikachu. He's better if we got that level up, so I don't really need to battle with it right now. So, yeah. Thunder shot. And I think this will be a one shot on Caterpie. And yes, it is. Okay. Good job. Good job, Pikachu. Lost, lost, lost. Okay. Um, are you just saying you're lost in this really small route? <laughs> okay. I don't know what to call it, what to call it, honestly. Route or route. Let's battle this youngster. My Pokemon likes to suck blood. Isn't that awesome? That's amazing, man. That's that's really cool. I want to have your uh, your bat, your zoo bat, which I'm pretty sure you have. Can I have it, man? Because I really want uh, I want I really want this zoo bat. I want my Pokemon to suck other people's blood. That's that's probably the best thing to do. <laughs> that's a really bad joke. I apologize. And actually, all my jokes are pretty bad. Whatever. Let's just continuously use tackle on this guy. Nice, nice crit. Good job, Butterfree. Alright, let's just continue using tackle once again. Too bad it's fast asleep. That sucks, man. Alright, not quite. I think it'll die in one or two minutes. Definitely one or two. So let's just go for another sleep powder. Like, see, see this? Like, sleep powder never misses for me in this game. It's nice. I really love sleep powder in this game. It's really useful for me. Alright, now tackle, and that is... Okay, pretty close to taking it up. One more definitely will, so there we go. Tackle, and that is GG. Jaw Butterfree. Yeah, unfortunately, that sucks. <laughs> nice joke, man, nice joke. But yeah, uh, Butterfree, unfortunately, doesn't have that many good moves right now, so... My Puff Puff is so adorable. Go on, take a look. Okay. Totally not obvious on what Pokemon it is. Is it? I'm pretty sure it's Colferi, right, guys? Oh, no, it's Jigglypuff? What? How could it be Jigglypuff? It's Colferi, obviously. <laughs> Pokemon. You guys don't make any sense. Okay. <laughs> Alright. I really don't want to deal with this guy because he's probably just going to sing, sing to our face, so let's just use Tackle. Is off, which is apparently doing like zero damage, and he woke up. And using defense grows well, so let's go into Pikachu now. Um, Pikachu's a special attacker, so obviously he'll be the best for this since he used defense grow. And that pound actually did a lot of damage apparently. But Thunder Shock, let's see how much damage this does. Okay, that actually did some pretty good damage. Okay, using defense roll once again. Okay, hopefully this. Um, Thunder Shock will finish it off, hopefully. Will it? 
Yes, okay, nice. Good job, Pikachu. Oh man. By the way, guys, just just wanna make a point here. I am not looking forward to Mount Moon. Just just wanted to make a point there. <laughs> oh man, Mount Moon's like the worst in Kanto. It's like my least favorite place. Yeah, I think this guy heals you up, right? My dogs are barking, I just came through Mount Moon. It was no easy trip. You should rest too. Oh, thanks, man. And I understand you, man. Mount Moon, man. Oh, God. Worst place ever. Oh, crap. I didn't mean to ask you again. Whatever. That's okay. That's fine with me. Alright, now, um, let's just go up to Mount Moon, I guess. Oh, well, never mind. Ah, Wild Tuba attack! Help! Help me! Okay. I believe this is Seymour, right? I'm pretty sure it is. Sweet, sweet! <laughs> what a great sound for Zubat. Bad. That's totally what it sounds like in the anime, anyway. I don't know. Anyway, um, let's use Tapple. Okay, that should do pretty good damage. I mean, it is level seven, so yeah. Leech life. Oh god, that that leech life is doing some big damage. All right, and <laughs> we got crit. Nice. Good job. Good job, Butterfree. All right, we got 54 EXP, and that's actually enough for a level up. Cool. Any poison powder. You know what? I'll actually learn that. I'm gonna get rid of uh, screenshot or pardon. I'm gonna get rid of pardon because I never use it. I don't use screenshot either, but I'm probably not gonna ever use pardon because I never like to use that. Thank you so much. You saved my life. My name is Seymour the Scientist. Somebody has struck lights up in the Mount Moon, causing the nocturnal Pokemon to fly out. They're after the Moonstone. I'm sure of it. The Moonstone was brought here from another planet by Clefairy. That's right, Clefairy are aliens. Please, go help them. Alright. That's one thing, like, I mean, I knew, I know, I knew about that, but when I first learned about that, I was like, what? What? I didn't know that. I mean, I guess they kind of look like aliens. Just a little bit, not that much, but whatever. Let's just, uh, battle this guy, I guess. I brought my electric Pokemon to light up the tunnel. Alright, that's great, man. That's pretty awesome. Right, let's take care of the scientist, or never mind, actually, it's a super nerd. Okay. It looks like a scientist, but whatever. Alright, Magnemite. Oh, God. This Pokemon's one of our biggest enemies. Mainly because none of our Pokemon right now can deal with this guy, so. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to put it to sleep. It's fast asleep, that's pretty great. Now I'm gonna go into my Pikachu actually. Because uh Pikachu could probably do the best damage on this guy. He actually will go on the first turn, that's annoying. I really hate that. That happens to me a lot in Wi-Fi battles, by the way. And in Pokemon Showdown, especially. But yeah, that's okay. Alright, Thundershock actually does some pretty good damage on this guy. He's gonna use Thundershock back, but Pikachu just ate that up. <laughs> anyway, Thundershock. That's I don't know what I'm hoping for, actually. I mean, it's, it's obviously gonna kill in, an in the next turn, so. Yeah. I don't like that static matter either, but whatever. No, it's, it's good to have that static, you know? It is, actually. In case of those fist attackers. Okay. Oh, Voltorb up next. Um, let's go into Pidgeotto, actually. And actually, yeah, let's go into Pidgeotto. Um, because Pidgeotto is probably gonna do really, really good damage with Tackle. I, I, I doubt this guy probably has any electric moves, so... Yeah, he's going for Tackle. He's doing actually okay damage, I guess. We do. Uh, probably like three times more damage, so... Yeah, and we finish it off quick. There we go. Hit Yoda getting a lot of EXP for that. Blackout! What blackout? <laughs> what? I don't even know. Oh, man. I already know this is gonna be a really long, um... Really long place. Yeah. Prepare for trouble, Twerk! We want the Moonstone to power up our Pokemon. Ready or not. Uh, how is that gonna power up your Pokemon exactly? I don't even know. Whatever. Um, Team Rock Cohorts. Okay. Jesse and James. We didn't get to battle them last episode, but that's okay. Waterfree's got this. Actually, he doesn't because he just got intimidated. So let's uh, go into Pikachu. Or actually, let's, let's go into Pidgeotto, actually, because, um, Pikachu is actually really low on the HP, so, yeah. Let's go for a tackle here. Doing some 
pretty decent damage. Alright, he's in the clear. That's fine with me. Another tackle. <laughs> using another leader. That's good. That's pretty smart, man. Alright. Quick attack, and that is GG for Ekans. And of course, we got a crit at the last second. That's really fun. It happened, but okay. that's fine with me. Coughing. Okay, let's go into Pikachu, actually, because, um, Coughing's a really good, um, physically. He's, he's really good on the defense, but not quite on the special defense, so I think this, uh, Thundershock will do a lot of damage. Especially with the light ball, so. Yeah, that actually, that did, I don't know. I, I don't know if this will actually kill it. I really hope so. Please kill it. No, I know. Oh, that sucks. Pikachu just lost to Team Rocket. That, that's pretty embarrassing. I'm not gonna lie. But, uh, I mean, Team Rocket's kind of a lot better in this game than in the anime, obviously. Whatever. At least we take out the copying. And uh, Pidgeotto, of course, gets the EXP. And Pidgeotto. Pidgeotto just always gets the EXP. He's like the luckiest guy. Alright, thanks for the Moonstone, I guess. It's time Team Rocket blasts it off. You may have won this round, but we'll be back! Alright, looks like we're gonna have to heal up, actually, and go to that youngster outside. If, hopefully, we would just stop running into uh, a lot of Pokemon. Which, I'm pretty sure we're gonna run into, like, a million in this stupid cave. So, that's kind of annoying, but... Eh, whatever. I feel like this is gonna be, like, one of my long longest episodes of Ash Grit that I'm gonna upload ever. My dogs are barking, whatever. Yes, thank you. Thanks for that, man. Alright. Oh, man. I'm really tired. I don't know why. I'm just, I'm just really sleepy. Whatever. Um, okay, so let's just, um, head on further, I guess. And we're gonna get interrupted by my parrots. The, only, the thing I like about Paris, like, the one thing I like, actually, is its cry. It's a really, it has a really cool cry. It's a Mewtwo cry, so that's pretty cool. Unfortunately, Paris is really is a really useless Pokemon. Yeah. Alright. Um, let's go. Oh, come on. Stop it. Come on, Paris. We've run into, like... We just ran into you like three times in a row, buddy. Come on, man. It's not cool to always uh, interrupt me, man. It's not cool. Alright. So I'm pretty sure this is the way we go to the to head on further. Alright, let's just battle this guy, I guess. I'm here to catch some cave-dwelling Pokemon. That's cool, man. That's really great. Alright, Youngster Josh. Pretty close to Youngster Joey, but not quite. And <laughs> this Rattata, not a problem. This, this Rattata has nothing to do with the, um, the top percentage that we all know about Joey's Rattata. Anyway, uh, tap the away. Hopefully you don't go for another quick attack. Okay, there we go. We're gonna finish it off. And there we go. Good game. I hope we learn Confusion pretty soon. I know Butterfree learns Confusion sometime soon. I think he does. I don't know. I don't know about this game, actually. Hopefully it does. Tad up next. Alright, Thundershock away. That does some damage and one shot. Yeah. Good job, Pikachu. I mean, I'm not really that surprised because Pikachu is pretty strong now. So. Yeah, Zubat. Alright, this, this thing will definitely die to a Thundershock. There we go. Alright, I can't wait till we get to Thunderbolt. I believe Pikachu learns that at level 28. Thank you. Yeah. 14 more levels, and then he gets to level 28. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why, I'm just making stuff more specific, even though it's pretty obvious, but whatever. Anyway, let's just turn off further, and to get interrupted by another Pokemon. A Pidgey, okay. I haven't run into you yet, but still, I don't like to be interrupted by you, stupid cave Pokemon. On. Seriously? Leave me alone, Pidgey. Seriously, man. You, you seriously are kind of annoying me right now. Alright, come oh, man. Alright, run away. There you go. You know what? Let's actually switch into Pikachu up front because uh, Pikachu 
probably gonna be uh I'm, any wild Pokemon if we run into you can just defeat it. Yeah, it is pretty nice on top of the mountain. I mean I don't really know that because I'm kinda playing a game, but if I would if it was real life I'd probably know. Alright. Pikachu, you've got this. Just thunder shot that would be fair. I'm gonna do some big damage. And that would deal like zero damage actually. But he used on course, so that's pretty good. I mean Usually on Encore is kind of annoying on me, but in this case it's not really that bad. Well, I'm not talking so like weird today, I'm just talking like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I guess it's I don't know. Right, double slap. Okay. Alright, thunder shock. Come on, man. Seriously, Pikachu? God, please don't get too many hits. Okay, three hits. We're gonna probably switch here. Probably our smartest move here. Alright, let's go into Pidgeotto. Actually, oh, I actually chose Blood Free. You know what? That's fine. I'm gonna use Tackle. And, oh, come on, are you kidding me? Oh my god, that's so annoying. Okay, I need to use Growl again, too. Okay, I'm gonna switch out for sure. Cause I really, cause I bet Butterfree is probably just gonna just get, um, uh, uh, what's the word? Uh, try to do it a lot, so let's just use Tackle. And that is GG for Clefairy. Okay, that Clefairy, man, that was pretty annoying. <laughs> really long battle, but, I mean, not really that long, but long, uh, longer than usual. I'm not mad. Okay, that was good. All right, let's use a potion real quick. It's actually our last potion, so we better use it wisely, and hopefully we don't die. Hopefully we don't take too much damage. Okay, anyway, let's get this item real quick. And it's an escape rope, okay. I guess that's kind of useful. All right, um, let's just head on. Let's just go here and, uh, okay, oh crap. I didn't want to battle you. This is the top of Mount Moon. Zubat, don't come up here. That's nice, but I mean, some some of these trainers have Zubat, so it doesn't really matter. Pikachu, go. Okay. Oh, come on, seriously, Pikachu? Seriously, he needs to play. Thankfully, he's just using Scream Shot, though, so. Yeah, I guess that's okay. Are you kidding me? Oh, man. This is so annoying. I'm probably just gonna wake up after, like. Five turns. Oh, oh, never mind. We woke up. That's nice. And we're actually faster. That's pretty crazy. Considering he used two string shots on me, but I guess Pikachu. Pikachu does have that hasty nature, so yeah, I guess that kind of makes sense. All right, let's just stay in, I guess. Caterpie. All right. Ugh. All right. Thunder. Sh there you go. Metapod up next. Um, hopefully Pikachu can one-shot this guy. I, I don't think so, honestly, but we'll see. And, okay, really close. Really close to taking it out, but not quite. Critical hit, that's fine. <laughs> it's static, but it doesn't really matter. Alright, quick attack. Go away, and that is GG. Actually, that critical hit kind of is kind of annoying, because we, we don't have any potions right now, so that's kind of annoying. Whatever, let's just... Okay, I think we're kind of close to, um, finishing, to getting out of here. I hope, I really hope so. Uh, that's gonna be pretty annoying. If it's, I think, actually, it's like, a little more than a quarter of this place left, but whatever. Hopefully we don't get interrupted by more Zubats, because these Zubats are kind of annoying me. They're really annoying me, actually. Are you kidding me? Come on, Zubat, seriously, man. Stop appearing. I really, really don't want you to appear anymore. Seriously, man. Kinda tired of you. Just a little bit. Alright. That's what you deserve, Zubat. You deserve death. Agility. I don't want to learn agility, honestly, because we're already fast. And we also have quick attack anyway, so. Yeah. Alright. Another Pokemon. It's a Zubat. 
totally unexpected, right? Okay, it's not a shock. Good game, Zubats. Just die already. There you go. Okay. Man, this is a really long episode. It's probably been like 30 minutes already. Probably. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. Hopefully this guy doesn't have sing, or then I'm gonna be super annoyed. Super, super annoyed. Alright, Ralph. Okay, that's perfectly fine with me. Alright, Thundershock away. Please just take it out already. Alright, Growl. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> that's cool with me. Alright. Now, quick attack, and that is GG for Clefairy. Alright, finally. Actually, that one's not as annoying as I... as the one before. Oh my god. Okay, Zuba, you're kind of a... kind of a bastard right now, man. Please stop appearing. Oh, come on. Watch this be another Zuba. Oh, it's a Paris. Okay. Ugh, that's still not that fun because I hate running into wild Pokemon, but whatever. Alright. There we go, that's, there's that Moonstone. Hey, but you're into Sandshrew, okay. That's pretty cool. I don't want to battle it, though, because, uh, electric-type moves aren't very effective against it. Anyway, we get the Moonstone, yes. There we go, we obtained the Moonstone, awesome. Alright, here's the, a lot of Clefairies, and, oh, never mind, I forgot about this. Alright, Twerp, we're here for that Moonstone. Hand it over. <laughs> these Clefairy are not messing around. Fairy using metronome, it caused a huge explosion! <laughs> That's not the unluckiest thing to get. Looks like Team Rocket's blasting off again! Okay, that's great. Alright, Seymour, thank you for saving the Clefairy. I've decided to live here with the Clefairy. Why? <laughs> that's a pretty smart choice, I'm gonna have to say. It's been my late life stream to find the Moonstone. And someday I'll travel to the stars with a fairy. All right, that's great, man. That's pretty smart, pretty good choice. I'm not to say. Being sarcastic, I guess. Don't know. Pretty sure you guys all do know, but yeah. Okay. Hopefully that's the last Zubat I run into, cause Zubat. Oh, come on. Watch this be a Zubat. I knew it. Oh my god. Okay, I think we're almost out of here. I'm really, I'm gonna be so happy when I get out of here, cause, oh my god, these Zubats, and Paris, and Pidgeys, and whatever, really annoying. Oh my god, watch this be another Zubat, watch. Oh, never mind, it's a Pidgey. Still not, still pretty annoying running into you, but whatever, Thundershock away, and that is a good game. There we go. And we got some pretty... Pretty decent EXP, I guess. And we're out of here. Alright, we're actually going to end it off here, guys. So thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.